one of the most decorated Supreme Court nominees ever. Well, she has an incredible story. She's got a ton of experience, having been a trial judge, an appellate judge, having been a prosecutor. Uh, it's somebody that has a story that people really admire. Judge Sotomayor is the true American story. It's quite a journey from a poor childhood in the Bronx to the United States Supreme Court. I was struck here. There is a real enthusiasm behind this pick that the president has for her. Simply unassailable qualifications. She has been on the Court of Appeals uh, for a decade. She had been a district court judge before that. She has impeccable uh, educational credentials. She simply fits the profile of what a Supreme Court has looked like, Supreme Court justice has looked like mm. historically in terms of background. Well, she is a, 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 a bright person. Uh, she's got a good background. She wasn't a community organizer like Barack Obama was, but she was a prosecutor in Manhattan. That similarity and that story combined with her qualifications make her a very appealing package. Uh, I think that it is, as you say, going to be very difficult for the, op the political opposition to uh, go after her on the one hand as, they, as their right on some of her, her views and her opinions, but at the same time uh, deal with that personal story, which is really inspiring. Well, Mike, congratulations to Judge Sotomayor for her nomination, and the president now has, has done his job, which is to nominate somebody to the Supreme Court. You know, anyone, uh, you know, to me it just says something about the greatness of America, where somebody from such humble beginnings can uh, persevere and overcome and rise to the very top of the legal profession. I, I congratulate her for that. Uh, I think it's a bold and brilliant choice by President Obama. I think she has all of the uh, characteristics that he talked about with empathy, experience, judgment, uh, and she will walk right into that uh, uh, Supreme Court on the first Monday in October, and she will be uh, a very significant uh, contributor to the uh, intellectual dialogue going forward. This is the kind of choice that I think reflects Barack Obama's extreme uh, good judgment uh, and his experience in thinking about what a constitutional scholar should be and off to the court. And, and she's going to go down as uh, a great justice uh, at, the, at her terms of service over the next uh, 30 years or so. And I must tell you, I was there uh, when President Reagan uh, selected Sandra Day O'Connor. I was part of that announcement process, and I can tell you that it today felt very much like that day. We will look back upon this day as one of the most positive in the Obama presidency, a high point in the Obama presidency. because.